everybody, Crystal here from Sultan's Choice. If you haven't already done so, please do subscribe to my channel. I am trying to build our family of practice at home belly dancers that um, do come into the classroom for connection, uh, for real life sisterhood. Uh, but now we've got little videos and little things that we can talk about and see who's practicing, who's doing what, who is able to hit the challenge, who's doing the arms, who's mastering their hands, because uh, all of that can be some extra motivation for you and help you really excel through your levels of classes. Uh, so today we are hip articulation number two. If you did not get part one of the hip articulation series, please find it in the See Lynn Dance With Me YouTube channel and you will find part one to help you get started on what we're doing here. Today's challenge is to add in our steps. Uh, so we're just going to be strict walking. We're going to be walking right on the quarter note, so right on the full count. And you can start with whichever leg you like, because really I would like you to practice both. Uh, today we are going to quickly review those hips and then we're going to start walking, okay? so. Let's look at our time. We had hips. We had a Maya, a Maya, or a figure eight up to down on the vertical plane. One, we're down at the bottom of the hill on and, up on the other side on two, at the bottom on and. Then we have a circle, an interior hip circle, which we're gonna try and hit four quarter points around the circle, and it's gonna go three and four neutral on and. So that's three, and four and as you do your interior hip work i would like you to think about being stuffed inside a paper towel tube like one of those big cardboard tubes we don't want to see your hips go way out here and way out here you're going to be straining your outer thighs your it band your glutes it's not going to feel very great if you do a thousand of those at all now if we can keep it inside you're going to find that hip circle really becomes underneath you more internal and just more juicy as it comes around all right working through the abdominals and the obliques to help pull the hips uh, less legs in the hip circle because we need our legs for walking today so don't push through the legs to make your hip circle go after we have our up and over, up and over, circle around, twist, twist, lock. Twist, twist, pelvic lock front. Don't push from the back. Think about using your lower abdominals and a little marionette string that's pulling the pubic bone up in a diagonal. So this is still loose back here, okay? And then finally, at the end of our lock, that's on five and six, hold the six and count. And then we're gonna roll it up through the belly, lock at the top. So the whole thing is one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Okay, let's put some feet to it. What do the feet do? Feet are. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Pretty straightforward. Let's get our dance posture. So standing straight, we're going to engage the lower abdominals, pulling the hips into more of a nice neutral pelvis with the two hip bones, pubic bone on the same plane. We're not tilted here. Mm -mm. and we're not here we want to be relaxed but engaged knees let's hunker down about six inches if your rib cage went forward let's knit the ribs together while we lift with the rib cage roll the shoulders back and down lengthen the neck so from here we have hip one down on and other hip two and circle three and step four, release and twist five and step six, hold and and roll and step eight. A little faster. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my snaps are hitting the ands. So I'm going one and two and step and step and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight Facing you. I'm going to do the left, you still do the right. Speeding it up this much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, give yourself a little break in the middle as you do this hip articulation. We're gonna have a tendency to really throw the tail out and use your back muscles because a lot of us, our back has taken over for our front. We've lost our gut, it's hanging out, okay? Tighten it back up. Keep a neutral pelvis that will help your lower back. So rewind this, practice it a few times, put on your own music, slow it down, chunk it out. Um, each little section has got two counts. It's only an eight count combination, okay? So real quick little compensation exercise. Follow me, inhale up. Keep the shoulders out of the ears, the neck long, belly in. Hands go out. Tail goes out, keep the belly in, find the outer legs here, and start rounding the knees, rounding the back at the same time. Try and round forward with the shoulders, tuck the chin, crown of the head to the floor. Inhale, let's straighten and come halfway up. And exhale down. Try to keep weight even in both legs. Inhale up. Always oh, my baby. Hi. Oh, I love you. You do too. <laughs> you look like me, my girl. Hi. Mommy's stretching. Just hold on. Oh, we're going to sit back in a chair now. So those heels we want right under the sits bones. Let's find the sit bones. Pull in through here so we're not released. Nice straight spine. Bring the weight back so we engage the quads. The farther forward you are, the more damage you're gonna to do to your knees. Keep them back, keep the knees parallel. We don't want to put them together, okay? Come on now, use those quads, in, in. You can either have arms here, shoulders roll back and down, or bring the arms up. Weight is even in both feet, dancers. And let's inhale up. And arms out. Thank you so much for hard hip articulation part number two. Part number three, we're going to put some arms in there. So work this out. Figure it out on both the right hip lead and the left hip lead. See if you can do the right hip lead with the left foot lead. And then see if you can do the left hip lead with the right. It'll really mess you up. <laughs> yeah, totally mess you up. And then after you've got that, see if you can try a step touch with it. Um, fold mastery is when you can pick your one study and let's put it over top of every foot pattern. Walking, step touching, cross touching, grapevining, 
Let's do it all. Next week, arm pathway. Have a great day.